Well, I'm Hans Zorb, and I'm a lecturer here in food science. The brewing system was a gift from Miller Brewing that they gave us uh, about five years or four years ago. Um, and it's a scalable system that's identical or virtually identical to the one they use in their own pilot plant. Um, scalable means that the things that you develop and, and the parameters you use in this system should be um, transferable to a full commercial scaled system. And so the, the, the temperatures they use, the times they use should be replicated in the, in the large system that they actually use themselves. And so that's the beauty of this thing. And so it's a commercial system that can be used for experimentation as well as just production of beer itself. Um, we're using this in, in conjunction with our food fermentations, of course, which is fairly similar. Um, and we're trying to, just like he was doing, basically develop the scientific basis for the fermentation process as well as the, as the, as the mashing process, which is why we're requiring our students to do an analysis using HPLC and GC and some of the other techniques that are used in, in, in chemical or in chemistry labs. Um, but we'd also like to teach kids how to brew, you know, so one of the things that, that I don't bring, which is why we're bringing Kirby in uh, and other brewers in this state, is we, we want to bring the craft part of it in as well, and that's something I don't bring. I'm not a brewer. I haven't been a brewer all my life. Um, they have, and so they know the art and the craft side of it as, as well as the science, and so that we can, we, can, we can deliver the science, bring them in, uh, and hopefully these kids walk out with a sense of the craft of the, of, of the discipline as well as the science behind it, which is really what we do in all of our food science classes. Mm -hmm. I mean, food is art, food is science. Same with beer. Um, we also would like to do short courses here, much like we do with the ice cream, where we bring people from industry, people from outside who want to learn brewing that aren't necessarily part of the university. That's the tradition of especially the CALS and the tradition of the University of Wisconsin in general in our state is extension and, and, uh, and extension education. And so that's short courses. And so we'd like to be able to do that as well for, for brewing um, and all fermentation you know, into the wine and, and the distillation sectors. I mean, that's a, that's a while to develop that. You need to develop your own expertise to begin with. Mm -hmm. um, and that's what we're trying to get to at this point.